cycles. Not really, you know, staying in shield for far too long. But, you know, we got the next set. We got Gil Tilde in Winter Semis. Yep, coming in on Town and City for our first game one. Mm -hmm. Tilde, or, yeah, Tilde had... Uh, Already we're seeing some nice item control uh, oh, yeah. using those downward item throws to set Dill up. And yeah. we could potentially be seeing those convert into those huge Falco conversions that we know Tilde for. Most definitely. I mean, Tilde, no strangers to the Rob matchup. You know, a pretty, pretty decent period of time where Grands every week was Zamba Tilde or something mm -hmm. like that. We had about four or five of them meeting in brackets. So, you know, you know Tilde has done his homework on this character. Absolutely. Ooh, just barely popping Dill up with the floor there, but not finding anything after it. Ooh, you know Tilde is looking to use those Falco side beasts to pop his opponents up. Catching their movement, you know, it, it won't work if you shield them. What a call out. That was a fat call out right there. Tilde grabbing the gyro and retreating to ledge. Throwing it down, you know, trying to give himself a better avenue for landing. Certainly can be dis difficult and disadvantage against this character, but Tilde showing he is very comfortable in the air right now, at the very least. Yeah, and Dill, we've seen Dill try and try and follow up on her own advantage state. Actually Ooh. getting the back air right that there. That was that was quite the back air, basically, you know, going right through the reflector of Falco's. You know, Tilde probably expecting some sort of projectile to come out there. And getting smacked by the back air. But here we go. Big side B. Catching Dill trying to retreat. Possibly to set up those infant that infant. He just walks up and does it. Ooh, he does, but Rob, one of the best uh, one of the best recoveries in the game. Gonna make that back. Dill getting the drag down after the forward air. Up tilt extending with another forward air laser. Push Rob down low. We know till they what till they can do with that down air, so this is scary for Dill. Once again, the laser coming through. Yeah, and Dill's really just been recovering to ledge this entire game one. Something I feel like mm. we've we've seen Dill so do so often in previous sets is when she uh, you know hovers below the ledge and comes up with a hitbox. We haven't been seeing that too much, and yeah. Tilda's just Tilda's just been ruling the ledge for it. Great air dodge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, Dill definitely no stranger. Just trying to shark under the ledge, maybe a little planking action, a little mix up on that recovery. But I mean, Tilda so dangerous with that down air could take your stock in one interaction. So Dill probably being a little more reserved on that. Tilda getting the combo, pushing Dill to off stage. I mean, basically right as her stock comes back. You know, it's been no time to breathe for Dill here. Tilde just constantly applying that pressure, giving that gyro back to Rob with the laser, at least getting it out of his face. And another up tilt starter, just getting in there, but getting Dill back to, with her back to the wall right now. But now Tilde uh, recovering very high. That was a high recovery, kind of giving Dill the idea that he was going to the other side of the stage, but then drifting back to land safely. And we got Rob below Falco. Not a good look, but ooh. Catching Tilde with the down tilt into the gyro. Yeah, that was a good that kill, but the tried and true. Mm -hmm. Up tilt back air. It's in business. We got Tilde on the board for game number one. Yep, I love that setup, the, the Aegis Reflector setup. Mm. You know, Town the pick for that game one, you know, maybe giving Dill the idea that she could, you know, be given some room to breathe against Falco, as that is most definitely a problem for Rob in this matchup. But Tilde, I mean, really just constantly applying that pressure, never giving Dill a chance. Mm -hmm. And Going I mean, that's for game two. Yeah, and I mean, I feel like also it works so well in Tilde's favor because a lot of Falco's kills have been at the ledge or uh, you know horizontally. That's right. And Town and City is gonna let Tilde Ooh, do that but so much more. Speaking of which, I mean, the vertical extensions off of these town platforms have been very lucrative for Tilde. Dill getting back to the stage, but Tilde, once again, not giving her a second to breathe. The right up in her face with that uh, forward air. Yeah, Missing the, the shield a little bit, no opportunity to get a hit though. Mm. Uh, yeah, missing the combo on that up throw. Gonna get Tilde a free back there. Yep. All right, Tilde off, uh, at the ledge, but using the reflector to fight the gyro away. 
And again, the frame run reflector coming yep. out. Huge Dill for Falco. Dill just hasn't been able to get much started. An up smash out of shield is going to be giving Tilde another explosive combo That's starter. That's right. Rob right back at the ledge, just like they've Ooh. been this whole game. Will Tilde go for another down air? Ooh! He's going to go for a back air stage wow. spike instead. I, I mean, that's just very telling of, of the, you know, the vibe for this set overall. Tilde just constantly applying that pressure, relentlessly oh, challenging Rob in every aspect. Every, every, you know, position in the game in the air on the ground, really not getting... Oh, I, I think... Mean, I, don't, I don't think she got hit by that laser, maybe not expecting the platform to take her off that quickly, but that's a dominant game, too, for Tilde right there. Yeah, three stock. Yeah. Right, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see what happens right here. I, I... Uh, oh, yeah. okay, she taunted. I mean, yeah, you know... The pressure coming out from Tilde, pretty relentless. I definitely an understandable uh, choice here. Um, yeah, that was a rough game too. Most definitely a rough game too. I mean, look at this, just Tilde right up in your grill, just with that down air. Yeah, I think Dill took like 77 off of one interaction and yeah. then just got stuck on that platform. Wasn't oh, we got the zoom in. Gonna yeah, see Rob Dil taunt. Yep. Or, uh, yeah, Rob did the uh, the like little, look like, around yeah, with look the around. sparkly mm -hmm. eyes, and that is gonna be Dill Tilde. Pretty swift win for for mm -hmm. Tilde there. Very, uh, probably okay. fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, really, it cannot be said how good Tilde has gotten at just challenging Rob in all of the positions, even the ones where the Robs tend to be more comfortable. You know, Robs. They love chilling off stage for as long as possible. Tilde not giving that sec Dill that second to uh, to recompose and yeah, no. Tilde or Tilde's off stage game is always so dominant. Mm -hmm. Even even when he's the one in disadvantage, that's right. He always finds a way. He does find a way. You know those reversals are deadly from Falco. I mean, basically any move at the very least sets you up for another opportunity to kill. And but anyway, we are going to be seeing a caster swap coming up. I will be swapping off, uh, leaving you and potentially someone else for uh, our our finals. Yep, sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, stay tuned for Xeno two three three finals. Yes.